Hello, this is Ness Tilson. In my last videos, I showed how to set up OptiCut to optimize a cutting list. In this video, I'll show how to fine tune OptiCut to get the best optimization possible for your lists. OptiCut has the possibility to adjust its optimization parameters to enable you to fine tune optimization and also to give priority to specific options such as cut time. Total, total costs or minimum materials. Let's have a look at a few of the more common options in our optimization parameters toolbox by clicking on this button here. In the optimization parameters dialog box we have the possibility here of setting up our saw curve. The thickness of our saw curve is actually by default 4 millimeters but I suggest that you actually cut a piece of material and measure the real saw curve of your setup. Like that you will have the exact thickness of your saw. In the optimization mode we can choose between several different types of mode. These modes go from fast to advanced. The faster the mode the less well the optimization is going to be and the more advanced the mode the, f the longer the optimization is going to be but the better it will be. Let's, uh, we'll give that a try in a second. Let's just go over the other options here. You have the possibility of defining a trim cut. A trim cut being the possibility to cut your material along the edge to get rid of any damage that might have happened to the edge. And so start off with a clean edge for your real parts cutting. You also have the possibility here of divine, defining a first cut direction. If you put in different, you leave it up to OptiCut to decide the best way to cut it. But according to your machine, you may need to cut the first set of cuts vertically or horizontally, depending on your setup too. Let's see what happens when we optimize here with an optimization, optimization mode as fast. Clicking fast optimization, we can see that we have an optimization that lasted only seven hundredths of a second and if I close we can see that we have optimized onto three sheets and we have a waste of 5.05 percent so let's see what the difference is when I optimize with a optimization in a more advanced optimization mode advanced 2 if I optimize now see it's much longer and we've actually gone up to 9.63 seconds which is much much longer than our original maybe nearly a hundred times longer by close but this time we are actually optimized onto two panels our waste has gone from five to four percent so depending on what your needs are if you want to go fast or if you want to be very well optimized, you can choose between your different optimization modes here. On the more advanced parameters tab, you have also the possibility of defining whether panels can need to be optimized with different priorities. We can choose the different priorities here. We can optimize to create better off-cut quality, that is bigger off-cuts that be more reused, you reuse better but we might need more panels to cut out our parts. We can optimize the number of cutting lines more or less by sliding this more or less towards the right I'll give it more or less importance or the, the total cutting length. We can also what we call here take into account turnarounds that is the number of times that we have to turn one panel around for it to cut out a part. The more turnarounds you have, the more complex your cutting maps will be and the longer it will take to cut. Playing around with these parameters can optimize and gain you a certain amount of material, but maybe at the cost of poorer quality offcuts or a longer cutting time. 
for you to experiment and for you to choose what your priorities are. OptiCut has also other pra parameters that you can also play around with but are much more involved. In general I would suggest that you you can uh, adjust advanced and general parameters and these will give you very good results. Thank you very much for listening and I hope to be seeing you soon again in another video. Goodbye.